What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Sasha motherfucking Hunter, and he's here talking about this little peep fella. Now, I didn't originally know who this little peep is, so I checked out, like, two or three of his videos. And I, well, when I first saw him, I knew exactly what he was. He was a fucking mumble rapper. Say what the fuck you want. He's a mumble rapper. One of the songs I listened to was at least, like, you could understand his shit, but it was the most basic shit of all time. Oh, and plus in that same video was uh, the cause of his death. There was a bunch of Xanax bottles on the fucking ground, on the fucking floor of a car. And, you know, I, I go on Facebook and I see people being like, rest in peace, little peep, rest in peace, little peep. You have the right to fucking do that. You know, you can you can do whatever the fuck you want, but I got to fucking say something. Um, the motherfucker was an addict. And to say that, oh, well... You know, he had fucking problems and shit. Well, you know, if he had fucking problems, he should have went to fucking rehab. Like, I'm fucking sorry to fucking shit on your goddamn little fucking... Whoever this fucking mumble fucking artist was. But he wasn't shit, okay? He honestly wasn't shit. He's the same shit that I see every day. And it's really fucking funny because, like, you know, you 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 think, you would think that this was act, there was this would actually have an impact on people, but it fucking won't. They'll go out there, they'll go pop Xanax, they'll go fucking drink and drive, they'll go do whatever the fuck they want. This ain't gonna fix anything. And you throwing out, oh rest in peace, little peep, rest in peace, you my homie, you my homie. That ain't shit. That ain't shit. You're gonna do the same thing for XX Tension or fucking uh Ugly God or any of these other mumble fucking rappers. You probably fucking are because you're fucking. You're dumb, and you're fucking just obsessed with that fucking lifestyle. That 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 music is garbage. That music is straight garbage. Like, there is no, like, part in it. It's literally him going, That shit's not fucking hard. Like, I'm, I'm seriously, I am seriously saying this. It is not hard to be a mumble rapper. It is seriously not fucking hard to be a mumble rapper. And his shit was definitely not fucking hard. Okay? And and, and, and that's the other thing. This music was... Okay, again, I know it's a generational thing. And every generation has their own, like, artists and shit. But, oh, my God. I don't know what the fuck happened. I seriously... I think it was Soldier Boy. And this was during my time. I think it was Soldier Boy just came in and infected the entire fucking strain of everything. And... Now we have these fucking bullshit mumble artists that people look up to, and then they die of a Xanax. They die of fucking taking Xanax because, because oh, they're bad. We hard. We on hard drugs. I, I only fuck the, the tightest bitches, and I get paid in fucking big cash, motherfucker. Like, fuck, dude. Fuck. But you won't see this shit for, well, you'll see this shit for, like, Let's say, like, I don't know, if Keith Richards ever fucking dies. Yeah, there's going to be people that are going to be like that. And, yeah, when, when there's metalheads that die, yeah, you see that shit. But you're not going to see the, the, the bullshit that's coming up right now, okay? Now, you're not going to see, so, like, some metal artist dies of popping Xanax and shit. You're not going to see a bunch of metal people come out and be like, oh, don't, you know, don't pop Xanax as I'm popping Xanax right now. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, fucking seriously. Like, fuck, I hate mumble rap, and that fucker deserved to die.